The crest on its nose was about three centimeters high and probably helped Anhanguera to attract a mate. We know from finds of the same species that it stood only about 80 centimeters tall, but it had a huge pair of wings that were up to five meters across. When a large bird, such as a swan or an albatross, takes off, they do so with a running start. But pterosaurs, such as Anhanguera, are thought to have taken off with one almighty leap. Detailed analysis of the skull shows that the specific parts of the brain responsible for balance and control were very much enlarged. So once Anhanguera was airborne, it must have been an excellent and very agile flyer. I'm glad I'm not a prehistoric fish.